I started to compose when I was about 12 years old. Um, at the time, I was very fascinated by Beethoven's piano sonatas, and every day after school, I went home, running home, to listen to the LP recording. And I also had the scores, and I was so fascinated about how to write music and how Beethoven did it. So I tried to, to do something like it. And um, I also started to, to uh, have piano lessons at the same time. So it was a great moment for me because I experienced music in two ways. <laughs> I have learned a lot by being in collaboration with the soprano Lisa Larsson. Uh, we have been in collaboration now for six years, five, six years, I think. And uh, I have written about five, six pieces for her. And it's an adventurous trip, really, into music and composition. She's so, so interested in, in discussing music and interpretation and um, when I, I could send her a few PDF files and she called me back or wrote me back an email and she had some ideas how to change or how to interpret what I had done. So it was really great for a composer to, to be as close to a musician like that because you're pretty alone when you compose. So this situation has solved a lot of my own questions about the voice and the vocal composing. Um, it's built in some moments in the piece where you have the solo violin and the solo cello performing together with the soloist. And that's like a, like a duo in spite of there is an orchestra on stage. And that's a nice moment of variation. Um, and you can say something else with only two instruments comparing to the full orchestra. I was composing residence 14 to 15 with um, in the Netvo and the Netherlands Chamber Orchestra at Konzertgebouw. And uh, it was really a nice experience. And uh, of course, my collaboration with the soprano Lisa Larsson was a central part of this. Both Ich denke dein, which was a commission from uh, the orchestra, and Garden of Devotion for the string orchestra and soprano. Um, already from the beginning when I met the Netherlands Chamber Orchestra and the Netherlands Philharmonic Orchestra, I felt being at home because they were so, so generous and so interested in, in uh, my pieces and trying to find the absolute best interpretation from the very beginning. And uh, when I met Gordon Nikolic, the Chamber Orchestra, um, he was so strong in, in uh, his ideas how to, to interpret the piece and how to, to study it with the orchestra. It was really fascinating to be there from the first minute to see how your own piece grows step by step.
and of course, I have been in, in um, discussion with, with Lisa Larson all the time, uh, who has encouraged me to, to really go for this project. And uh, without her and without this collaboration with the orchestra, this piece hasn't been what it is. Lest I should know you to eat me, you play with me, you play with me, you play with me. 